Good morning. Welcome back to Tiki Rick Adventures. Thank you guys for joining me today. I'm going to go into Disneyland and try as much food as I possibly can. There's all that new food that came out on January 10th. Ooh, it is bright today. I'm looking right into the sun. I should have picked a better spot for the intro. Oh well. I'm going to go into Disneyland and try as much food as I possibly can. And let's just go have a good Disneyland, a DCA kind of day today. I got a nice spot here at Galactic Grill. There's always plenty of tables here in the morning. I just headed into Tomorrowland first thing. I almost missed my mobile order window because taking, uh, I parked at Mickey and Friends today and taking the tram takes a little bit of extra time. It's about two hours leaving home. It takes about one hour by the time you get onto Ball Road and you park your car, you get into the tram, all that, you know, through security. It took about another hour to do all that. It is a run Disney weekend, so it's especially busy this weekend. And it seemed busy coming in. The ticket lines were a little longer than usual, but there's plenty of tables at Galactic Grill. So I got the burger, we'll give that a try first. Now if this burger is a little dry, it shouldn't be because the avocado mayo. Let me try, there's a fried pepper that fell off. Mmm. Oh, those are good. There was a little chimichurri on that. Those are like the French's fried onions that you use for green bean casserole, but only in a pepper form. So instead of uh, onions, it's peppers, but it's good, nice and crunchy. This has bacon on it, but it's got the avocado mayo and it's got the chimichurri and the pickled onion should add a little moisture to it too. This one's the Meteorite Medley Burger. It's an Angus and vegetable patty with the smoked chimichurri relish. It's got Havarti cheese, bacon, fried peppers. It also looks like pickled onions. Yeah, those are pickled red onions. That's not on the menu though. I read the description multiple times and that's not on there, but I saw it in the picture too. I love onions, that's gonna be good. It's just weird they didn't add that to the description. There's a look at the cross cut there. All right, let's give that a bite. There's two slices of Havarti cheese. You get two on there. Mmm. Wow, that is really good. I think it's the onions, the pickled onions that are giving it a lot of sweetness. There's more sweetness than I would have expected. Maybe it's the chimichurri relish. That is really, really good. I'm surprised. This is the, the best burger I've had from Galactic Grill. The bun is nice and toasted. I really like that. I'd give that like an eight and a half or nine out of 10 even. That is really, really good. There's a lot of filling in there, see that? It's plenty moist. I got barbecue sauce and ranch on the side for my for my french fries, but I was planning on putting that on my burger if it was a little dry. It's not on the dry side, you don't need that. The Angus and vegetable patty is really good. It's a little different than your normal beef patty. It's almost like a cross between a beef patty and a veggie burger. Mmm, that's good. Wow, I'm really impressed. Good job, Galactic Grill. The quick service burgers are not always my favorite at Disneyland. That's a really good burger. I would definitely order that again. That's really delicious. Okay, and then next I'll try the blackberry limeade. I love blackberry, I love cucumbers. This is gonna be really refreshing, I think. Wow. Oh, that is super good. So this is the blackberry sky splash limeade. It's a blackberry infused limeade with a blackberry coolis and cucumbers on top. Coolis is just like a strained pureed berry, so like raspberry or blackberry. They'll just puree it and they'll strain it so the seeds are out of it. Super, super good. That's a 9 out of 10 for me. Mmm. It's tart. You get the blackberry flavor, the nice limeade. It's sweet, a little sweeter than I would want it to be. 
but it's good. It's still really good. Some people like their limeade or lemonade a little sweeter like that anyways. I'd like it a little less sweet than that, but that's still really, really good. I like the blackberry flavor, and actually the cucumber flavor is really prevalent there. It's really refreshing. Cucumber has that kind of crisp flavor to it. That's really good with the cucumber on top. I like that. You can get little chunks. If you don't use a straw, you can get some chunks of the cucumber in the sip there. Mm. Wow, that's delightful. I really like cucumber water. They always have the cucumber lemon water when you stay at the Grand California Hotel. They put ice buckets out of it. There's like the refillable containers. They fill that up all day with ice and cucumber and lemon water and you can stay hydrated by the pool. That's what that reminds me of having the cucumbers on top. That is really, really good. I like that a lot. Mm. Yeah, I like having those little bits of cucumber to chew through when you get a sip. I'd get that again. That's a 9 out of 10 easily. Super, super good. Try that out. You won't be disappointed. So I'm almost at the bottom of the drink now. And I think I'm going to change the rating to an 8 out of 10. Not quite a 9. It's really, really sweet as you get down into it. There's a lot more of the syrup at the bottom. And it's kind of got a sickly sweet taste as you get down to it. It's still really good, but I'd say 8 out of 10. I think this one is Chip. I'll have to check the name. Sometimes Chip and Champ are hard to tell. They're brothers. But I'm pretty sure this is Chip. Isn't he pretty? Look at the feathers on his feet down there. So pretty. Yeah, it is Chip. I double checked. I was right. They didn't have it on mobile order today. Sometimes the mobile order is just not available for certain items. It's really unfortunate that they do that. Jolly Holiday didn't have any of the treats today on mobile order. I don't know if they've already sold out or what the issue is. There wasn't the s'mores tart. I was going to get that, but I'll have to go stand in line for that one. Just do it the old-fashioned way. And they didn't have the banoffee pie or the lemon meringue eclair. They only had the cherry vanilla macaron and the Mickey cookie today. Nothing else was available on mobile order, so it's kind of surprising. But I got a new treat that I wanted to try out. I got the lemon pepper chicken tenders at Golden Horseshoe. They have buffalo wing chicken tenders now. It has buffalo sauce on the chicken tenders. Those are the two seasonal chicken tenders that came out. And you get those with cuties or french fries. I went with french fries again. Second feeding on french fries today. Not healthy, but you know, I do pretty good in between uh, days when I'm not at Disneyland. I've been eating really healthy and I've still been fasting too. So I can have cheat days here and there. And, I walk a lot when I'm here too, so that helps out a lot. I've been walking over 10, 11 miles when I'm here at Disneyland. I tend to walk as much as I can. I'll just kind of do laps in between meals to burn off some calories. This smells good though. I'm gonna try, one of the chicken tenders doesn't really have much seasoning on it at all, and one of them is loaded with seasoning. So I'm gonna try a bite of each because that's kind of a big make or break right there. See, look at this one. Let me show you the comparison. That one is coated in seasoning. And that one, you can tell right away, 
doesn't have much. It's like when you get chips, and especially happens with Cool Ranch Doritos. The Doritos that are all coated in this flavoring powder is awesome. But then the Doritos that don't have anything on them don't really taste that great. And I got honey mustard, ranch, and barbecue just to try to dip these in. Let's try them on their own though. That's good, but that bite with all the seasoning is super salty and super citrusy from the lemon pepper. It's like, it shouldn't have all ended up on one. I think that was supposed to be distributed more evenly. I'm gonna try one without. That doesn't have any seasoning on it at all. That's a really standard chicken tender that tastes like the popcorn chicken that you get at KFC. Nothing special about it, it's really standard, but it is very good and it is very satisfying. Probably give this like a six and a half or seven out of 10. There's nothing special about this. If you have pickier eaters or kids, someone that's a finicky eater, you're definitely gonna like this. This would be a good option. Yeah, let me try it with some ranch there. Mm. You get these kind of deep tubs of uh, honey mustard. This honey mustard looks really good. I'm gonna try this. Mm. Mm -hmm. My favorite is the honey mustard. And then last but not least, just do barbecue. I'm gonna get a little bit of ranch with that barbecue too. I like to do it that way. Get a little barbecue on that side, ranch on that side. Okay, that's my favorite with the barbecue and the ranch. The lemon pepper is really nothing special at all. Um, it's okay. It just doesn't really add too much to it. I do like the flavor of it. And then I got the Pib Extra Float. This is a new seasonal treat here. Now, I love root beer floats. It's kind of fun to have a Coke float or something different. I, I love Pib Extra. I drink that like all the time at the DVC lounge. I always get Pib Extra. Pib Extra and Dr. Pepper, oh, I'm dripping. It's already melting, I gotta eat this quick. Pib Extra and Dr. Pepper are hard to beat. It's like my favorite soda. I didn't drink soda for years and I've been into soda lately again, which is a bummer, it's not good for you. And look, they give you this really long float spoon. I love these types of spoons. Mm. I should have got a straw to drink up some of that. Mm. Oh, Disney whipped cream. You know what? That's not Disney whipped cream. That's Ready Whip. That's like regular whipped cream from a can. Mm. It's still really good, but it's not like the signature Disney whipped cream that's a little thicker than normal. Mm. That's a very good treat. Eight out of 10 for that. It's $6.99, so after your discount, if you have the uh, mem if you have the Magic Key discount, that comes down to six bucks for that. So that's a really good treat for six dollars. It's big too, it's a big portion. Yum. Well I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my lunch and the piano player is on in about seven minutes from now he starts. So I'll catch the piano player after this too. This is good though, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this. This is a very brave duck. She keeps coming right up to me. Hey, ducky. She is not shy of humans. She's just curious and looking for food. <laughs> this duck is very vocal. She's trying to tell me something. <laughs> Hi, ducky. What are you doing? Looking for food? Sitting over here. It's been pretty crowded this afternoon in the park. The park 
the crowds have come in in full force. It is a Saturday, you know, it's usually busy on the weekends. It's just always busy here all the time. I'm just watching the Columbia go by, the canoes go by. It's a nice spot to sit over here. I really like it. I'm still full, so I was burning off some calories by getting steps in. I walked all the way down to the Disneyland Hotel, checked out the Run Disney kind of expo they have going on. It's like a health expo that they have for Run Disney. And there's nothing special over there, nothing to be reported on, so. I just walked around for a little bit and then walked down through downtown Disney and it was getting really busy just walking through downtown Disney and I'm just gonna sit here at Palm Sawyer's Island for a little bit and then probably get some lunch some late lunch again later but I'm pretty full right now so I definitely don't need to eat head over to uh, Disney California Adventure DCA because uh, I haven't been over to DCA yet today so I'll probably do that after this I saw this bike and I was like, wait, where's Molly? It's one of my favorite Mollies today too. She saw me, she's just finishing up with the family, but it was funny to see the bike here and she wasn't next to it. I was like, wait, where, what? I'm gonna commandeer her bike. Those packages are for her uncle and she never delivers them. Delivers them so I'm gonna go deliver them for her. Let's see what she has to say today. <laughs> Hi. What's up, Molly? Actually, I to head to the depot. So okay. Okay, well, it was nice to catch you on the way out. The Mala days are over, but Happy New Year. Thank you, Happy Happy New Year. You have nice Mala days? Oh yeah, it's the best time of the season. See ya. I got a really good treat from Aunt Cass Cafe in San Francisco Square. It looks really, really good. I love being in San Francisco, but it's very busy in there. It's hard to find a table. And I couldn't find any tables outside either, but I found a lamp post. So I have you guys in somewhat of a precarious situation right now, but my camera should be stable. It won't fall like the last time and the bloopers that I included last time. This looks really good. So it's an upside down pineapple bread pudding. It's got pineapple chunks, maraschino cherries, it has a caramel creme on glaze and a pineapple custard on it. And it says it has pineapple Cool Whip on top too. So I want to try just the Cool Whip itself. Oh my God. This is going to be so good. I could eat a whole bowl of just that pineapple whip topping itself. It tastes kind of more like Cool Whip than whipped cream. Mmm but it's got like pineapple juice whipped into it. It's very heavy on the pineapple flavor. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of that whipped topping there on the bread pudding, and I'm gonna get some of this. I don't know if that's the custard or the creme on glaze. I'm assuming that's the caramel creme on glaze, yeah. That's what that definitely is. It's like in a pool of sauce though. It's got its own little pool down there. This is so good. This is absolutely insane. So it reminds me obviously of pineapple upside down cake. I love pineapple upside down cake. I always make the one in the Better Homes and Gardens. You know that red checkered cookbook that a lot of people had in the 70s and 80s? We still have ours and it's the old version of it too. But I like to make that recipe of the pineapple upside down cake. This is so darn good. This is a nine and a half out of 10 easily. Mm, let me get another bite there. This is phenomenal. It's very heavy too. This is splittable because it's huge. Right off the bat, the pineapple flavor is very strong. It's caramely because that caramel creme on glaze. The creme on glaze is amazing. Mmm, oh my gosh. Oh, you could put that creme on glaze on anything, it'd be good. Wow. Oh my gosh. It tastes kind of like a. Um, cross between caramel and butterscotch, but it tastes like a Werther's caramel that's been melted down. Wow, this is incredible. I like the chunks of Martino cherries on there. I like the pineapple a lot. It's very fresh. It's got a crisp, crunchy edge there. It's kind of like a caramelized edge on it, but the inside is super, super moist. It's very, very dense. It's very eggy. It's a really, really solid bread pudding. Nine and a half out of 10. I would get this anytime. This is so good. The seasonal bread puddings over at Aunt Cass are always really good. It used to be the Pacific Wharf Cafe, and they always put out really good bread puddings. This is phenomenal. This is the, one of the best bread puddings. This is the best bread pudding I've ever had in my life. I'll just say that. I'll go ahead and say that. Wow, this is really good. Definitely give this a try. You're going to like it. 
I made my way back over to Disneyland. It was very crowded at DCA. Disneyland is not quite as crowded. It's run Disney weekend, so it's very busy this weekend. And it did start to get a little chilly, so I put on another layer over my jacket. But we're very fortunate in California that all you need is a couple of light jackets. There are sub-Arctic temperatures all throughout the United States this weekend. Very, very cold temperatures. I hope if you're in one of those regions that you're safe and you have somewhere warm to be and that your power was, your power is working and your heater is working sufficiently because I know that's no joke. They're getting into the negative 30s in a lot of areas and that is some seriously cold weather. It can lead to fatal conditions in certain areas, but in California it very rarely gets cold so we are very, very lucky here. We're very fortunate. It's surprising. Okay, so I got these from Alien Pizza Planet. This is the Nebula Swirled Ricotta Pasta. It's a chimichurri spiced ricotta, a blush bolognese sauce, chef's choice of pasta, and a wilted spinach. I'm gonna go ahead and try the pasta first, just to give that a bite. Try to get a little of that bolognese sauce. I like bolognese sauce. It's a long, flat noodle, and get a little bit of that ricotta too. Chimichurri spiced ricotta, I've never heard of that before. I never had that either. It sounds good. Mm. Wow, that is really good. I'm gonna try the ricotta on its own just because I want to see what that flavor profile is like. Ooh, a whole bunch of crows are going by. That's cool. I love when the crows fly over Space Mountain. It's a cool shot. It looks very pretty. Wow, that's a lot of crows. It is definitely crow o'clock. I don't get a lot of the chimichurri flavor in there. It mostly tastes like just ricotta. Mm. I got a little chimichurri in there that time. That's nice. That is very nice. So this is giving lasagna a little bit because of the ricotta. But the bolognese sauce is very good sauce. I mean, for a theme park, this is really good sauce. I'm actually very surprised. Mm. Try to twirl this. I should have got a spoon to twirl these long noodles into. <laughs> Give that another bite. Mmm. Wow. Alien Pizza Planet has been stepping up their game. It is not the best pizza in the world but lately they've had some better pizza than normal and their pasta game has been on point that is really good that's an eight out of ten it does have a little bit of a kick the red sauce is a little bit spicy i like that a lot and you get a couple pieces of wilted spinach not too much though mm. I'm a big spinach fan, so I like that for the contrast. That's really nice. This is a really good pasta. Get this, it's a new pasta here. Everything I've tried today has been brand new. It all came out just a couple days ago on January 10th. This is the artichoke pesto pizza. It has artichoke hearts, tomatoes, pickled red onions, olives, parmesan, mozzarella, feta cheese, and it's got a pesto sauce on it. Okay, and I wanna try this pizza too. It didn't look as that hot and fresh when it came out. It's been sitting around for a while, but you know, we'll give it a go. Mm, that's really nice. You get a good amount of artichoke hearts. I love artichoke hearts. I really like olives and I really like onions. So this is right up my alley. That's why I think I like this specifically. It might not be for everyone, but for me, this is great. This is an eight out of 10 actually. The only thing I don't want are those big cherry tomatoes. They're not that cooked through. And I don't really care for raw tomatoes that much. Big chunks of cherry tomato like that is not really my thing, but you can just pick those off or pick around them. Mmm, mm-hmm. The pesto sauce is really good on there. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, eight out of 10, I'm actually really impressed. This is a good pizza. You're not gonna be disappointed if you try this. Good job, Alien Pizza Planet. I wanted to get the new macaroon with, well, they're calling it macaroon because you know, like the aliens are like, ooh, so they add ooh to everything. But it's actually a macaron, you know? So it's a little confusing. It's not really a macaroon, it's a macaron. I wanted to try the new macaron that they have there. It has brownie bits in it but it wasn't on mobile order, so I didn't end up getting that. I just got these for now. So we might get one more dessert later. We'll see, but this could be it for the food today. I ate a lot today, and I definitely ate enough. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit.
I don't think I've ever seen this many crows at Disneyland before. This is crow crow o'clock on crag. Wow. The garbage receptacles, a lot of the garbage is processed behind Space Mountain there in the backstage area. So I think they come here before roosting for the night. I mean, this is regular, but this is like thousands and thousands of crows. I usually see hundreds. This is like way a lot. This is like tens of thousands of crows. <laughs> it's quite a spectacle. Good evening, friends. I'm sorry to have to welcome you to this invitational showing of Follow Me Boys in this way. I'd give anything to be there with you. But this seems to be one of those times I'm tied down here at the studio night and day. Of course, it's always this way when we're shooting a picture. And it so happens we're in the middle of shooting one right now. It's a comedy feature called uh, Blackbeard's Ghost, starring uh, Peter Ustinoff, Dee Jones, and Susan Plachette. Now, we've completed quite a few pictures since finishing Follow Me Boy. But there's one special one that I just have to mention. It's titled The uh, Happiest Millionaire. Now, this is one we call a happy family musical. Well, that's just one of the many songs in the show. And naturally, being part Irish, it's one of my favorites, of course. Now, The Happiest Millionaire won't be released until late next year. So let's get on with the business at hand, and that is Follow Me Boy. To us, this is a very special kind of motion picture, and one of which we're very proud. It has a fine cast, and uh, oh yes, you're about to meet a 15-year-old boy for whom I predict a great acting future. His name is Kurt Russell. I hope you enjoy the show, and incidentally, have a handkerchief handy. If you're like me, you're not only going to laugh a lot, but you're going to shed a few happy tears. So thanks for coming, and again, I'm sorry I can't be there with you personally for this occasion, but here now is Follow Me Boy. for joining me today I appreciate each and every one of you it was a lot of fun ate some really good food again the food has been on point the last two trips like that's some of the best Disneyland food I've had lately really like that I'm really looking forward to the Lunar New Year food coming up on the 23rd so I'm trying to eat as much of the regular food as I can that way I can try all that stuff when that comes out too so thank you guys I hope you have a good day or evening I hope you guys take care. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.